Hi everyone, welcome to our study. Today we are focusing on Daniel chapter 2, which is verse 1 to 49. Daniel chapter 2 can be divided into five main parts. Part 1 concerns the surprise which the king Nebuchadnezzar earned after dreaming, and dream which really disturbed him a lot. That is from Daniel chapter 2 verses 1 to 11. Part 2 concerns the honor he gave so that uh, all his wise men of Babylon would be destroyed because they were not at a position of telling the king what he had dreamt and the meaning of the dream. Daniel chapter 2, verses 12 to 15. Part 3, the discovery of the secret which was given by God through Daniel after he had prayed. The discovery of the secret to the dream which was given by God to Daniel after he had prayed to God. That is verse 16 to 23. Part 4, we have the king being given the, the discovery by Daniel, being made known to him. And also the meaning of the dream is given to him by Daniel. That is Daniel chapter 2, verses 24, all the way to 45. And finally, the great honor which the king put upon Daniel and the reward he gave him and the way he promoted him for what he had done. That is Daniel chapter 46, Daniel chapter 2, verses 46 to 49. We begin with the past part, that is the, the prophecy of the king. In terms of timing, this is around 603 BC. Daniel chapter 2, verse 1. In the second year of his reign, Nebuchadnezzar and the dreams, his mind was troubled and he could not sleep. So this king, Nebuchadnezzar, is a king who is in charge of the whole world. But yet, we see he is not able to control himself. He is being troubled at night. So the greatest conquering which somebody can make, it is self-conquering. Because you can conquer the whole world, and yet yourself, you have no peace. You are troubled the whole night. As we Verse 2. So the king summoned the magicians and chatters sorcerers, astrologers, to tell him what he had dreamt. When they came in and stood before the king, he said to them, I have earned a dream that troubles me, and I want to know what it, is, it means. Then the astrologers answered the king in Aramaic, O king, live forever. Tell your servant the dream, and we will interpret it. The king replied to the astrologers, this is what I have firmly decided. If you do not tell me what my dream was and interpret it, I will have you cut into pieces and your houses turned into piles of rubble. But if you tell me the dream and explain it, you will receive from me gifts and rewards and a great honor. So tell me the dream and interpret it for me. Once more they replied, let the king tell his servant the dream and we will interpret it. So, the king here relied on these people, on the magicians, enchanters, sorcerers, and astrologers to know the future and even to govern his kingdom. This time around, he had dreamt the dream and he troubled him, yet he, he, didn't, he had forgotten the dream. And now he thought the wise men of his would help him. 
but it appears he has given them they had no solution to help him as it appears here so the the wise men of the king he has failed actually if you are given a dream any person can make guesses of what the dream is all about so we are learning here that the sorcerers the astrologers the enchanters the magicians they, they were using guesswork they were using their own mind they didn't really know the truth and even today because we have the magicians we have the people who read the stars we have the diviners we have the enchanters in our society they use what you tell them to manipulate you they use guesswork for example even when they are doing their forecast they can say somewhere in the world it will rain so we see they are limited they are limited and in the mind of a person it is only god who knows it actually the bible says i the lord examine the mind and the start the heart so we see them here eh uh, acting in a, in a hypocrisy it seems they didn't know the answer also we see the king here being a person of loose loose tempers he had decided to destroy all the wise men because of their failure to answer him but it says then the king answered i am certain that you are trying to gain time because you realize that this is what i have firmly decided so he had decided to destroy them simply because of their failure and he is the one who had dreamt and he had forgotten the the dream if you do not tell me the dream there is just one final for you you have conspired to tell me misleading and the weekend things hoping the situation will change so then tell me the dream and i will know that you can interpret it for me actually this was a very difficult scenario to them and this is the answer they gave the astrologers answered the king there is not a man on earth who can who can do what the king asked no king we, no king whoever great and mighty has ever asked such a thing of any magician or any charter or astrologer so of course here these people they are confessing their limitation they are conf- they are they are confessing their limit every human being is limited on, on our own we are limited in so many areas there is a lot which you cannot do on our own but we only complete in christ so all these other things which people fear the witchcraft the power the enchanters those who follow the stars those who follow any form of creation rather than following god we see here they are confessing their limitation because they don't really know they use guesswork but when we are connected to our father we are sure that uh, whatever we ask of him then he is going to give us the right answer actually it is only the manufacturer of one item who knows everything others they only use guesswork so any person apart from your creator does not really understand you fully whatever they tell you it is it is guessing so that is why we should not allow people to define us we should not allow people to control our future to control what we do but rather we should, we should submit to our creator also we are learning that uh, somebody can have power can have authority can have resources and yet inside themselves they are suffering inside themselves they have troubles but when we see them outwardly we admire what they have little did we know that they are going through hell in their life the astrologers answered the king there is not a man on earth who can do what the king ask no king however great and mighty has ever asked such a thing of any magician or any charter or astrologer what the king asks is too difficult no one can review it to the king except the gods and 
they do not live among men. Again, this is a confession of of limitation of sort coming. In Babylon, there were so many gods, and these astrologers confesses that uh, the person who can review this does not live among men. But of course, you know, when we in Christ, all things are possible. And the Spirit of God lives inside of us. Not So we are not limited the way they were limited today. If you have accepted Christ, there is no limit. There is no shortcomings. You are complete in Him. This made the king so angry and the furious that he ordered the execution of all the wise men of Babylon. So the decree was issued to put the wise men to death, and the men were sent to look for Daniel and his friends to put them to death. So we can see this king uh, being very tempered, hot tempered, what you call hot tempered. He lost his temper very fast, and uh, he was moved by emotions. He didn't take any second thought. He is troubled by a dream, and when his people fails him, he, he makes a, a fatal decision to destroy all of them, including Daniel, who and just impressed him. Verse 14 says, When he awoke, the commander of king's guard and got out to put to, put to death the wise men of Babylon, Daniel spoke to him with wisdom and the tact. He asked the king's officer, Why did the king issue such a harsh decree? Ariok then explained the matter to Daniel. So, Daniel already and favor with the officials of the king, such that even in difficult situation, they would reason together. So we learn here that God prepares his people for the challenges he hand and equip them with all what is needed. So my dear Fred, whatever you are going through now, God has already prepared you and he knows you are capable of going through the challenges you are going through because every temptation you are facing right now, it is common. And God is faithful. He is not going to allow you to be tempted beyond what you can bear. And in every temptation that comes your way, God is going to provide a way out. So here we are learning the wisdom of Daniel. At this, Daniel went in to the king and asked for time so that he might interpret the dream for him. So actually many things in life if we are only patient, then we could get the answers of everything. Even that is bothering you, especially in prayer. And when we wait upon the Lord. Actually, the Bible tells us many times that we wait and we know that God is God and that you will be exalted among the nations. So patience is key. Patience is key to solving many Challenges which we face in our society today and waiting upon the Lord. Then Daniel returned to his house and explained the matter to his friends, Ananiah, Michel, and, and, and Azariah. These are young men, but they are connected to their maker. They know they are God. They knew that, they are, that God is a God who, who hears prayers, and God is a God who cares, and God is a God who is everywhere. So, also, they knew the importance of, of fellowship. Daniel knew the importance of fellowship. And he and knew that where two or three gather together, and they are united, and they ask anything in the name of God, then God would answer them. Of course, by then, by this time now, Jesus had, had not thought those statements are mentioned. But of course, we see him and that understanding. Because he went and Yes, and explains uh, the matter to his friend. What did they do? He asked them to plead for mercy from God of heaven concerning this mystery, so that he 
and his friends might not be executed with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. So this is very important. I like the attitude of Daniel. And that is what all the believers should have today. When we see difficult situations in our society, in our community, in our government, in our families, what, what should we do? We should plead for mercy from God. And not only us, we should also ask our friend so that we, we plead for mercy from God. And God is merciful. God relent in punishing us. When we have ourselves and we plead with God, God is going to be merciful to us. Any mystery, anything which is un unknown to us, the future which, which, which we don't know what owns, we should commit it to God. We should not be like the world which has no hope. Actually, the world has no hope. The world means people who, have, who don't acknowledge God. They have no hope in themselves. They are like these magicians, the astrologers, the nitatas, the diviners. They, 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 they are limited. But you see Daniel here knew that there is a God in heaven who reveals secret. In him, everything is naked. In him, everything is like the day. So, whatever situation you are going through right now, call upon the, the, the Lord. And also, call upon the Lord together with your friends. And God is going to attend to the situation as he attended this case of Daniel. During the night, the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel praised the God of heaven. So we see here Daniel praying and, and God answering. Actually, we learn in the book of Matthew 7, 7. Jesus taught and said that we ask and we are going to receive. We call and we are going to be answered. We knock and the door is going to be opened for us. So Daniel, we are prayed and the prayer was answered. After the prayer was answered, we see the response which Daniel earned. Then Daniel praised the God of heaven and said, Praise be to the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are his. He changes times and the seasons. He set up kings and deposits and possesses them. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He reviews deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness. The light dwells with him. I thank and praise you, O God of my fathers. You have given me wisdom and power. You have made known to me what we asked of you. You have made known to us the dream of the king. Wow, 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 wow. Glory to God. This is a powerful prayer. And I want us to examine the component of this prayer which Daniel prayed, which was a response of 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 request he, they had made to God. This is everything that we need today as God's people. It is a powerful prayer. Full of beauty, full of glory, full of adoration, which we see and we are giving to give, giving to God. So first of all, he, he praises God. He praises the name of, of God. So it has thanksgiving. So our prayer should be full of thanksgiving. God, we should acknowledge God in every form of prayer that we make. Because he says, praise be to the name of God forever and ever. So the name of God should be praised forever and ever. Because God is forever. God lived forever. God was there, yes, and we will be there. So we have God of history, God of today, and God of future. The same God, who is the same forever and ever. So the name of God is a great name. So the first thing which should constitute our prayer is thanksgiving. And, and in thanksgiving, we acknowledge who God is. Because God 
is a God who is merciful and he hears our prayer. Number two, he acknowledges the wisdom and the power which are from him. So all wisdom comes from God. And the Christ is our wisdom. God the Father has bestowed all wisdom unto his son. So today Christ is our wisdom. That is why we need to be connected to him. As we pray, we should acknowledge that uh, Christ has all the wisdom. All the power and your authority depend, depend on God. There is no power, there is no authority, there is no supremacy which we can get without him. Even what people have, it is what he has delegated from them. Jesus said Pilate that uh, he had no power except what, that which was given to him. So even to us today, we we do not have anything ex- except what we have been except what we have been given by by God. So we cannot we cannot really boast of anything. So here Daniel gives God glory, and and God only deserves glory because we know He is mighty, He has wisdom, and everything belongs to Him. Also, we see him here giving God glory because of who he is to the, to the world of mankind. God is the one who has created the universe and is the one who influences it. All the people, everything which takes place here, God has eye on them. There is nothing which happened without God seeing. Actually, the Bible says God has established his throne in heaven. And he sees every affair of men. Nothing which is hidden in, in him. Everything is open in God. God is the one who changes the, the times and the seasons. So when we see the season changing, it is God who is controlling them. God changes the, the, the seasons. No change which comes by chance, but it comes according to God's divine will. Whether it is political whether it is economical, whether it is even in the normal weather changes, it is God who is in charge. Nothing which just come by chance. It is God who even removes king from power and he puts others. Actually, it is God even who raises the poor out of dust and he makes them to sit among the princes. It is God who set up kings and, and he is the one who makes them grow. He is the one who makes them progress. He is the fountain of all power. Because God is the king of kings and he is the lord of lords. In him, men excel in wisdom. More than any philosopher. More than any scientist. More than any, any psychologist. More than any other title we can ever give. It is God who gives wisdom to the wise. So we should acknowledge him. Everything which we have belongs to God. It is the one who gives knowledge to, to those that know understanding. So for, so for this reason, there is nothing which we can really be proud of because the knowledge we have belongs to him and we should use it to honor and serve God. In every business which we carry out, it is to bring glory to God. He also gives him the glory because he made him discover the mystery of this dream. He praises him first for such a discovery. Daniel chapter 2 verse 22 says, he reviews the deep, the deep and the secret things which are hidden from the eyes of the living. So, anything which is a mystery to you right now, when you humble and go before God, God is going to reveal to you you don't need to live on guesswork. When you have one God who, whose future is past. You know to God, everything about us is already, already past. God does not start anything without concluding it. So God knows every step which we are going to take. And even 
the things which are hidden by men to him they are naked and i think this is very important even when we are doing anything even in the closed doors when we meet and we are deciding some issues and we think it is secret the best thing for us to do it it is not to look around it is to look up and within when we look up we should see god when we look within us we should also see god who is inside and through that now i believe we will have we will have defeated ourselves because the, the greatest conquest any person can ever make it is it is self so the things which are hidden in the eyes to god is the one who reveals it, he, he has the wisdom to know the deep things the things of the art god is able to know them and to review them and to bring them up to his people and in that he is the one who does them perfectly so discernment come from god no judgment is hidden in him so everything everything is naked in god god is the god of truth and we give him glory because he is our god in god there is light there is no darkness at all the darkness to god is like the light so we have a great god just like daniel we should know that god is god of light discovery so god had made you also daniel to have the discovery the discovery of what the dream was all about so he praises god who is the fountain of wisdom and the mighty so wisdom has to do with being able to apply all the knowledge so right now in case there is any one of us who is lacking wisdom the bible says in the book of james if anyone lacks wisdom let him ask from god who gives to all without favoritism and will be given so our society today need wisdom from god god is the fountain of wisdom and as i have said christ is the wisdom you cannot get wisdom without christ if if you accept christ as the way as the truth he is going to give you wisdom to know how to manage your life and to know how to live a fulfilling life here on earth so wisdom god had given daniel a wisdom to know the great secret which was hidden god had given daniel a wisdom to know the dream which he had dreamt so it was a gift from god he acknowledged this god for that gift which he had given him it says he reviews deep and hidden things he knows what lies in darkness and the light dwells with him so as children of god we don't have to fear even what our enemies are plotting against us we should rest in our father because he knows everything as they are plotting he is there he is watching and he actually is the one who controls them if the if, if the enemy was left he would have destroyed all of us but thanks be to god who is seeing everything which is being done in secret so what was hidden from the celebrated chandians from these people the astrologers the magicians the diviners the enchanters was revealed was revealed to daniel so even today there are some people who fear the witch doctor they fear the the sorcerers they fear the astrologers and they fear the system of the world they don't have to fear because there is a lot which they don't know but our god knows everything so when you are connected to true living god you don't have to fear anything actually what we are going to fear to re- to reference it is god so god had put spirit of prophecy in daniel and what was the purpose the purpose was so that god could bring glory to himself also god had put the, the the spirit of, of prophecy in daniel so that the whole world remember now babylon at this time it is a superpower it is controlling the whole world at this moment and now as a result these people who are consulting other gods who are consulting creation instead of creator when they failed 
The entire world knew that there is a true living God through Daniel, who is in captivity and who is a young man at this point. So God can use anyone to make even the world system come to acknowledge him. And the gift which God has put in each and every one of us, because nobody was born empty, there is a special divine gift which God has given each and every one of us. If we, if we remain connected to him, then God is going to use you and me to bring glory to himself, even in the Babylonian system we are living in. Babylon, of course, is a picture of the world system, the systems which don't follow the principles of God. So even us today, we have great reason. We have a lot to thank God. God has, has given us great salvation. We are born of God. God has paid us back through His Son, Jesus Christ. So here we see also in this prayer, verse 23 says, I thank and praise you, O God of my fathers. You have given me wisdom and the power. You have made known to me what we asked for, we asked of you. You have made known to us the dream of the king. So you see here, Daniel is not self-centered. Even he thank God for his other people he was with. So he had, he had the respect for them. The prayer they had made, even if the, the discovery was made to him, he acknowledges that uh, the unit, the end, with other believers, with other young men, it also contributed. And, and also he knows that God is not, is not polarized. God is a God of all creation. So he respected them and he thanked God for them. Because the, the discovery, when the discovery was made to Daniel, I believe he even shared with the other with, with these other young men with joy. So even to us, when we are doing something and then God gives one of us success, we should thank God even for the others. And we should also rejoice together. We should not be selfish. Rather, we should be generous enough. And also we should be willing to share together so that we can share the joy, the joy with, with, with the rest. Even in the Bible, we see Somebody like Apostle Paul, he had uh, this habit of sharing his joy with the other believers, like Timothy, other ministers, or, and the other people who are supporting him. He always, he always shared the joy. So when God honors us, we should be willing to, to share the honor and the glory. With the, with, the, with, with the God first and also with the other brethren. Also, Jesus Christ, who is our Savior, he had this habit of all the time giving glory to the Father. He never took glory on himself. Any success which God gave him, he always appreciated, attributed it to the Father. So even us today, we need to attribute the success we get to God the Father. And also to acknowledge other people whom we work with. So may God bless us. This is part one of Daniel chapter two. Today we have considered verses one all the way to 23, which has, which has three main parts. The dream which troubled the, the king. The way he summoned his wise men and they failed to respond. The verdict he gave for all the wise men to be destroyed, including Daniel. And we see Daniel getting favor from the king, the king being patient with him. Daniel together with other three young men, Ananiah, Michelle, and Azariah praying to God. God reviewing the dream to, to Daniel and Daniel giving glory to God for what he had done. So the key thing here is any situation we are facing right now, any difficulty we are going through, our God is able. All things are possible to him. We need to have faith in him. We ask and we be patient in him 
and God is going to respond to us because our God is our loving Father. He remembers mercy in the course of aim, executing his judgment. God bless you. Thank you for being, being part of this project whereby we are focusing on the truth of the word of God as we journey through the book of Daniel. Kindly take time to read the book of Daniel. And I also request you to like, subscribe, and share this video to other brethren, to other brothers and sisters, to your friends, to your family members, so that you can go to, so that you can grow together in the things of God and so that we can know God who he is. Because when you draw closer to him, he is going to draw closer to us. And the enemy will run away from us. And we are going to be victorious in the Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you and be blessed. I am blessed to be part and parcel of you. And also I thank God for honoring me, for giving me knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, even to stand his word and to distribute it to you. Always it's some blessing to be used of God as an instrument. All the glory and all the honor go to the to, to God the Father, who is the Lord of all creation. Amen and amen.